Alright, we got time until helicopter arrival, 53 hours and 12 minutes. And we actually have a guest star this time. Hi. It's Helmer's 10, everybody. So, Hello. He doesn't ex actually know anything about Dead Rising, and in fact, he's not even watching the video right now, so... This is gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be entertaining to see everyone's reaction. Alright, oh, so yeah. head over to try and enter the pharmacy, and then you're gonna get a cutscene, everybody. And then dead, one of Dead Rising's trademark loading screens. And now a cutscene. And I'm sure everybody knows what part this is. Except me. Well, I think you know what it is, too. <laughs> dairy. It says Farms Dairy in the back. It's kind of funny. Wouldn't that be creepy if you were in a sh grocery store alone and you heard a shopping cart rolling around? Yeah, that would be kind of scary. What was that, Frank? What was that, Frank? It's like a, it's like a slasher movie. He, and now he's walking by. Huh? Canned goods. Looks like cranberries. Yum. And there is Sean. No, it's not Sean. Shit, what is his name? Fuck. Some guy. It's Leonidas, everybody! Leonidas, what kind of name is that? The King of Sparta. <laughs> yeah, hurt. Oh, don't be a potty mouth. Although I don't really have any room to talk, do I? What? Wow, he gets that angry over vandalism? Yep, even when Frank's not doing anything. I guess wanting medicine is like another is code for vandalism. Apparently. We are going to take him out very quickly. Ow! Shit, that hurt. Fuck! Alright. Ow! Stop! Stop it, Steven! Cut him with the chainsaw and now he's dead. Steven was getting annoying. I had to put him down. He's a, he's a cat, I had to put him down. When have you that heard guy him? has to quit whining. He squeals a lot. Yeah. The zombies? Maybe? They could do a good job. He's worried about his customers as he's about to die. But what's really weird is I sh I cut him in half with a chainsaw, and yet he's still in one piece talking. Now listen. Shh. Clean up. Register six. <laughs> Dumbass, you're at register five. That's what's wonderful about it. He's at register five. Looks oh, like actually, no, he's at six. Wow, I never actually noticed that. He is at six. Oh, seven. Kind of in the middle. I don't know. It looks like register ten. It may be register ten, but, you know, that all depends on what you think ten looks like. I personally think ten looks like, you know, seven. I do, too. Okay. Isabella's kind of drugged. Frank, stop talking to her. I don't need any help. You people don't know a thing. You're the one who caused this nightmare. You ruined Santa Cabeza. And started all this. Helmers, do you know what Santa Cabeza is? No. 
Oh. Well, you're no fun. Thank you. You can always guess. Uh, some place or something. Okay, let's go. We got the pharmacy key now from Steven. That's his name. <laughs> Call him Sean. Steven. So head on back here, open up the door. We want to head over and get the medicine for Brad. What kind of medicine? I really don't know. It just it, it says you obtained the first aid kit. What? Well, that's retarded. Wow, I had to go to a pharmacy to get a stupid first aid kit? Because that makes sense. You know, maybe I could understand like if they wanted insulin or something, but not. Whatever, that's kind of stupid. Let's shoot these guys out of the way because I'm lazy and I don't want to walk around them. There we go. I just wanted to waste the ammo. And now I can go pick up another shotgun on my way home. Let's go ahead and heal myself too while I'm here because there's food everywhere. Alright. Let's go. <sighs> Alright. Head on back because I need to bring that medicine back to Brad. So we'll head on back to the security room. Isn't it the first day, kid? First aid kit, sure. And I'm actually going to ignore the arrow. The arrow is telling me to turn around, but I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to go the other way. But the arrow is all-knowing. You have to follow it. See, the arrow is not all-knowing. The arrow does not put into account the shortcut. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Well, now it's telling me to go this way, but it's going to soon tell me to turn around, because I'm going to ignore the arrow again. You shouldn't ignore the arrow. Why not? It might come back to haunt you. That's kind of morbid. Alright, now I'm going to follow the arrow, because the arrow is correct now. It's always correct. Remember that. It wasn't correct last time. It was telling, no, you're it was telling me the long way around. Maybe the long way around was the best way. No. no. Not really. I think so. I highly doubt it. But anyway, whatever. We are now in the warehouse, so we're going to head over to the elevator and go join Jesse and Brad. The dog and the idiot, as I like to call them. But enough about that. I don't know if I've said it, but this is probably one of the more awkward sort of elevator rides up. I mean, have you ever ridden on an elevator with about 50 bloodthirsty zombies? I have. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. It was. And yet you've never played Dead Rising. No. That's, like, hypocritical. No, it's not. It's heretical. It is heretical. It really is. No. No, it's right. not. Give the the medicine or the first aid kit to Jesse. This makes no sense. How is a first aid kit gonna bring Brad out of his like self induced coma? Must be a special first aid kit. Okay. Well wait till three o'clock. Now it's three o'clock because I cut everything out. All the waiting out. I always do that. And now we get to watch another cutscene, because this game is full of them. Joy. Yeah, entire sections of the game are as a cutscene. Like, an entire chapter could be the, a cutscene. Oh, whatever. There's Isabella! There she is. Isabella. And she's walking into the grocery store. I should go visit her. Tell her I'm sorry. And shoot her. Sorry for what, though? I don't know. Sorry for something, but I'm gonna shoot her anyway, so I won't be too sorry for long. Wow, you're nice. It's 
true. She runs me over with a motorbike. 